Hi, in this session we will see a uh, surface automation training platform. Uh, like you know, here we will uh, fetch a list of items uh, using region mode and list region mode uh, for all systems uh, like account, client and patient. So far uh, in the in, in uh, previous sessions like uh, part two, surface automation training part 1, part 2, part 3 we have seen fetching the items, so, uh, items <coughs> one by one okay uh, from uh, from systems like account and client client and patient like you now we uh, we when we are fetching one by one record uh, to the uh, uh, to the collection okay <clears throat> and it is in the sequential mode and it is dynamic mode so in this session we will see how to fetch all the items of okay, instead of uh, instead of going for a system uh, uh, sequentially or uh, dynamically we will uh, directly fetch all the items uh, of particular account client and the uh, patient system to the collection okay we will see in this uh, session we will see how can we do that actually so to do that let me go to uh, first we will uh, look into the list region mode see here what i am trying to say is I'm just let me log into this application. See here, I'll enter the search criteria and I'll click find. So here, I will fetch instead of going for each one by one record in the last uh, part one, part two, part part one, part two, part three uh, sessions we have seen fetching records one by one uh, to the collection. Okay. Now, in this session, we will see we will fetch all the uh, I mean, uh, items okay collectively to the collection. Okay, so first we will see it in list region. How can we do that actually? So what I am doing is see I have already done this uh, uh, in, uh, in the application modeler. Okay, what I am doing, what I have done here is see see uh, first I have uh, captured the list region window. Okay, and I have. Uh, uh, selected as a list region window uh, okay for uh, uh, to get the data of uh, a list of items to the collection I'll show you I'll say I'll show you how I got this data see like you know when I go for this uh, window see this is how I found the window okay See here, what I have done is I have taken. <coughs> see for list region, I have taken two windows. Actually, this window is for uh, uh, bringing the application to the friend, and uh, this window is for uh, getting the list of item collectively to the collection. Okay, because you know, see, I have uh, sp <coughs> spied the same uh, uh, window. Okay, and uh, this is for uh, window, and uh, this is for, uh, and this is for this one. I have only uh, selected this uh, head headlines of uh, last name, first name, and account ID heading. Okay, so see, see, uh, see what see after spying this one. What I'm doing is here is see in the list using grid. See, I have taken one navigate stage and I have drag and drop this one here for activating application so that the application will come from. And I am taken. I have taken one read uh, st uh, stage. Okay, where in the read stage, what I have done is the one which I have uh, uh, spied. I mean, uh, the the headers, uh, last la first name, last name, not already. I have taken this one to the uh, element. Okay, the the moment I have taken this element, so I have, I have got the get or uh, this data item, this data options like get all item, get bonds. Okay, so when I uh, choose this get all items. It is asking me to uh, store it in a car. It will show. It will uh, come as a data type as a collection, and it is asking uh, me to store it in a collection. So why? How I am getting uh, this data as get all items? You see, get all items is see if you look into this uh, application modeler. See this one. See uh, obviously uh, when you uh, default. Uh, okay, the default element type of this window is would be window. Okay. So what I have done is I have uh, switched it to net dot net grid. Okay, I have my instead of window I have switched it to dot net grid. Okay, and see uh, after the after you mean after using this read stage. Okay, in the read stage when I uh, use this as element. Okay, you will see this get all items so that you can uh, 
put all items uh, into collection okay so this is how i have done uh, for list region okay see uh, for example uh, we will just try small uh, run we'll just try to run here for this account id application for this account system and we'll see see i have got 68 items 68 records of uh, from account system see and you will see the entire uh, data of account system like you know data birth house number street city country postcode parent id nsc number client ID, everything you can uh, fetch from uh, from the system to the collection okay okay this is the, the uh, by using list region you will uh, get the list of uh, all items uh, to the collection this is one way using the uh, list region okay here uh, you are not reading the record here you are not reading the records one by one to the collection we are uh, directly uh, we put together uh, collectively uh, fetch the records and uh, moved into collection okay this is uh, because you see you have to spy you have to sele select this one with the head headings of uh, uh, this grid uh, table okay, then only you will get the uh, all the items to the collection okay in the same way the reason mode as well the same way reason mode as well. see for example see if i say if you look into this application modeler i have uh, selected uh, this window for uh, uh, bringing bringing the application to the front and uh, the same window for uh, reading the list of items instead of a window i have switched it to dot grid okay and and i have uh, taken first in uh, navigate stage to bring the application to the front and grid data to the collection okay if i execute this one the same i'll uh, fetch all items that says account system items to the collection it is very simple see it executed in the in some nanoseconds actually very fast see, there are 68 items i mean 68 records as you can see name title name date of birth street house country patient id nh number client id account id you can see everything okay so this is how you can uh, work on see the same way i uh, see even reason mode as well uh, how i have spied is I have first selected this window in reason mode. Okay, then the next window, the same window I have taken to I have selected uh, this first name, last name, and account ID. That's more than enough. Okay, and and you need to use this reason window for uh, activate application, and the second reason window for the same reason window for uh, okay uh, to get all items. To get all uh, to uh, get all items, what I've done is I have changed it from window to dot and read. This is how I've done. This is a very simple way to get all items. See, in some scenarios, in some scenarios, you know, uh, see, uh, for example, there may be requirements like I don't want uh, out of 68, I want some 20 to 30 records. I want to fetch it to collection. So how can you fulfill, uh, how can you write a logic for that? In, in such requirements, okay, you can uh, handle uh, reading a record, uh, one by one record. Okay, the way we have done in part one, part two, part three. Okay, okay. see for uh, like, you know, in uh, part one, part two, what we have done is, see, uh, for single record, we have taken, uh, See, for single record, what we have done is we have taken read with text to OCR for single records. Okay, for collective records, we have taken get all items. For single record, what we have, we have what is the data we have taken is read with text to OCR. Okay, over uh, read text with OCR. <coughs> See, in such as I told you, this requirement to fulfill the uh, such kind of requirements like you know, we you if you want to get the data from 20 to 30 records instead of uh, getting all the uh, say uh, 20 to 30 records some amount of records 
to collection you have to write a logic first you have to read the, the uh, records sequentially and ignore those records whatever you read the sequentially and uh, make a count of each uh, record count okay when the record count met at, uh, ma ma met at uh, 20th position okay then start reading from 20 21 22 20, 20, till 30 okay and I ignore the rest of the records from 30 to 68 so in, in this way you should write a logic so that you can get okay the part of 20 to 30 records okay can, can be moved to collection in such scenarios you can go for read text to OCR then reading records one by one okay if you want to get all the items to collection you can go for um, this way get all items option using read stage okay this is a very simple concept uh, okay uh, which i would like to uh, explain you in this session see the next session we'll see development standards in blue prism we'll see in the next session thank you